Hey folks, if you've ever invested in the market in any way, shape or form, you've asked the question, how can I beat the market? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video, how to beat the market, but not just how do you beat the market? I'm going to show you how to beat the market every time, at least within reason. Let's go. Hey folks, it's Jeremy Whaley here from Trade Maestro. Hope you're doing fantastic today. And if you want to check us out over at trademaestro.com, feel free to do so. But what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about beating the market. As I said in the opening, called this particular session, how to beat the market every time. Now, of course, there are no guarantees in the market. There's no guarantees. So is it going to happen every, every time? Maybe not completely, but over time, you will absolutely beat the market. And I'm going to show you the system to do that in this video. Now, the reason I even bring this question up is because this is the question that's, that's kind of underlying pretty much everybody that I engage with. You know, it's either one of two ways, but the, the question comes out, what stock would you buy right now? Okay, or where would you invest your money right now? So those are the two ways that it typically shows up. And I would say out of probably 95%, maybe 98% of the people that I engage with and they ask me what I do, that's the first thing that they say is, well, where would you put your money right now? Okay, so what they're really saying is how can I make money and how do I beat the market? And the reason is because underlying all of that, kind of everybody knows that the so-called professionals aren't really very good at their job. Now, I just did a video on this that maybe you've already seen it. If you haven't, uh, I'll try to remember to link it up here in the uh, upper right corner. But um, I talk about why the fund managers, the so-called professionals, are so terrible at their job. And I cite this study from S&P or SP Global called SPIVA, S-P-I-V-A. And so what they talk about in this study, and this is a study they've been doing for years, it's probably 20, 25 years worth of history they have here. And what they do is they track over time the so-called professional fund managers and how they do relative to the benchmarks. And what you can see here is over a 10-year period of time, I'll take it full screen again, over a 10-year period of time, 90% cannot match their S&P 500 benchmark. If you carry that out over 15 and 20 years, it gets even worse. Depending on the year, the stat moves about 1% or 2%. And uh, sometimes it's 94% can't match the mark. Uh, sometimes it's 95, 96%. It usually averages out about 95, 94.5 to 95% cannot match the S&P 500. That means the vast majority of so-called professional fund managers just flat out stink at their job. That's what it means, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that. And we're going to start by, by matching the market. And then I'm going to show you how to beat the market. And uh, this is really simple. I can show you this in about two minutes. So let's do it right now. Okay. So our objective here, our ultimate objective is beat the market. <clears throat> and if we want to beat the market, then how are we going to do that? Well, we have to understand, first of all, what the benchmark is. And the benchmark is going to be the index. There's pretty much an index for everything. But the main indices are the S&P 500, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the NASDAQ. Those are the three big ones. And uh, the, you also have the Russell 2000. If you're looking at more small cap stuff, sometimes people will use that as a benchmark. But for the most part, the S&P 500 is kind of the flat benchmark. If you can proudly proclaim, I beat the S&P 500 and I do it consistently, then you're winning. You're doing great. So, you know, there's not only is there an index for everything, there's an ETF to go with it. I talk about that in one of my courses called Raging Profits with ETFs. Um, there's an ETF for literally everything. And that's what this guy's idea was. He's like, well, can we just buy the index? And the answer is yes. And that's step one of the process. If you want to beat the market, the first thing you got to do is match the market. And the way we're going to do that is trade ticker symbol SPY, that's SPY, that's an exchange traded fund that literally will match the market exactly like the, the index does, okay? So let's go over and let's take a look at that really quick here. And what I wanna show you is I wanna show you, this is ticker symbol SPY right here, and you can see that, that it's just a chart just like any other stock, okay? And um, what it's doing is it's matching the market. So that's SPY. And uh, let's see if I can um, set these on top of each other. I didn't really set this up before. I probably should have. But um, let's do it this way right here. We will pull up uh, SPX. That's the S&P index. And um, weekly. So let's put it on a daily chart so these guys will match. And there you have it. Okay. Now space it out. Get the same scaling in here. And uh, 
Let's see. There you, there you go. We're getting there. Okay, so kind of get the same time frames. There it is. And you can see right there. Okay, so the, the chart across the top is SPY. The chart across the bottom is the S&P index. And you can see they pretty much line up exactly because SPY, literally what it does is tracks the index. And so they have the same stocks that are held in the S&P 500 with the same weighting and uh, it's going to run it exactly the same. So that's the first step. This, the first step to just make life really simple is trade ticker symbol SPY. That's the heaviest traded ETF in the world for good reason, because it matches the S&P 500 exactly. And it does it without having all those crazy um, fund manager fees. You don't have to pay that one or 2% every year that you pay for the so-called professionals. And there's no load fees. There's, it's just an easy trade. Just go buy SPY. Okay, so that is the first step in the process is trade ticker symbol SPY. Now it gets a little bit more tricky. Not that tricky, but just a little bit more tricky. And uh, that is how do we beat it? And the way we're going to beat it is I'm going to suggest that you look at using the, um, the system that I refer to as the moving average system. Okay. Now there's a lot of different moving average systems that are out there, but a system that most people are somewhat well acquainted with is a moving average cross system. The numbers that I typically use are 10 and 50. Um, I also throw the 20 in there, but the 10 and the 50 will give you an extraordinarily great buy signal and a great setup for getting into the trade. Now here's the other piece, do bullish trades only. In a lot of the trades that we do, um, we also take bearish trades, but for this particular technique and this particular strategy, use bullish trades only. So let me come back over here and I will show you what this is gonna look like. And you can see it on the top here. I have it laid out with a special um, indicator that we had created in TradingView. It's really just moving averages, but it shades it really easy for you so you can see it. Okay, so if it's red, you don't want to take the trade. You see how it's red here? You don't want to take the trade. Then it turns green right here. And when it turns green, that's a check. That's a thumbs up. Okay, and you see it turned green here. It turned green here and it turned green here. Now, if you just do that right there, you're going to beat the market. And you're going to beat the market over time. So we'll just leave it at that for now. Let me just talk about this. What that is, is that's the signal to get into the trade. That's the signal to buy. Okay, so when the stock is above that and um, stock is above those averages and you have that cross and it turns green like that right there, hopefully you can see that on the chart there. Um, that's when you want to buy. Now, the next question is, when do I get out of the trade? Because if you just buy when the market's going up, that's good. But if you never get out of the trade, then all you're going to do is match the market. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to time this a little bit. We're not going to go crazy. This is not day trading. This is not really overly active swing trading. You generally will end up with somewhere between one and maybe four or five trades a year uh, doing this technique. OK, so really, it's not super active at all. And you can you know, you don't necessarily want to totally automate it, but you can automate the signals. You can get uh, alerts sent to you on your phone or your your email. And it'll tell you when to get in and when to get out. So um, let's come back over here. And what I want to show you is where do you get out of this? Well, every time I'm going to do this one with red, every time that the averages turn red, you definitely want to get out. Okay, so that's every, everywhere it turned red. I know the first time I drew that one in green, sorry. That was an out signal right there. And you get, get out over here. Okay, so that's the obvious ones. Every time it turns red, you definitely get out. Okay. Now we can tweak that a little bit and we can actually get out a little bit earlier. But if you just follow this part right here, this is something I have. I don't know if it's all my coaching students, but a lot of my coaching students who are trying to figure out how to manage their own retirement accounts um, will do this exercise and we'll go back in time and I'll have them run four or five years of just this right here, buying whenever it's green and, and getting out and selling when it's red. If that's all you do over time, you will beat the market. Normally what it works out to is about 75 to 80% of your trades are profitable trades. And the trades that are not profitable are a, a break even trade or barely lost anything. Okay. Every once in a while you have a pretty decent little hit, like I said, one or 2% hit. 
But these huge, massive swings that so many people are, are putting up with right now where they're losing, you know, 15, 20 percent uh, in 2022. If you survived that bear market in 2022 in the uh, Nasdaq, it was about 36 percent drawdown in the S&P was about 25 percent. It took all of 2023 before it got back to break even. So that's two years of your life that you set out. And uh, you just didn't sit out. If you wrote it out, you're sitting there on your hands, biting your fingernails saying, how do I get back to break even? Just hanging on for dear life. That is not a good strategy. I know people tell you it's a good strategy. The people that tell you that are the same fund managers that can't match the market. So what this does, not only does it match the market, it beats the market and will consistently do it over time. Okay. So this is a really, really great strategy. And uh, I encourage everybody to do it at least enough so that you can learn it. And then once you have it, now you can implement it and you can repeat it over and over. So I'm going to repeat it for you really fast here. Step one, trade SPY. That's going to help you match the market. Step two, follow that moving average system. And you take only the bullish trades, not doing any bearish trades with this particular strategy, uh, just doing bullish trades only. And if you do that over time, you will beat the market. We've proven it over and over again. Is it a super fast strategy? No. Is it a day trading strategy? No. Will you get bored running it? Probably, but you're going to beat the market and you're going to do better than literally 95, 97% of the so-called professional fund managers. Why? Because you got a system that works and you're not overthinking it and you're not overanalyzing it. And by the way, how long did that take? It didn't take any time. Look, we can go back and do it right now. You see, it's green. If it's green, we're going to buy. See that right there? Yeah, it's green. So we're just going to buy. I know I drew it in red, but you know, let's, let's change our pen. Our pen is now green to reflect that we're going to buy when it turns green right there. See, buy right there. And this works for every trade too. It works for any stock that you're trading. You don't have to be running all the calculations and formulas and statistics. You don't have to do that. You know, we knew with the Dow Jones just a few weeks ago, we knew that, uh, you know, the bear market was done. Let's buy. How do we know? Because it turned green. It turned green. And green is really easy. It's just kind of like green light, red light. It's really, really simple, okay? So anybody can do it. Anybody can execute this. If you want to learn more about this, um, what I just shared with you is an ETF strategy. And I actually go in more depth in my three-day uh, free, three-day challenge called Raging Profits with ETFs. And I'd love for you to join me for that. If you've not taken that challenge, uh, feel free to do so. You can get signed up on our website over at trademaestro.com or wherever you are right here. Uh, if you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube or wherever it is that you're watching this, maybe it's on our blog, uh, there will be a link somewhere down below or to the right or the left or wherever um, that you can click and you can go over and join us for Raging Profits with ETFs, okay? Ultimately, I'd love for you to become an Inner Circle member with me, but uh, start right here. Go do a three-day challenge and see what you think of that. All right, thank you all for joining. Thank you for being here. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please like, subscribe, follow, whatever you can do because it helps the algorithm and it helps us and it helps Helps us get more information out to you and to other people just like you. Okay, so subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, of course, be sure to check us out over at trademaestro.com. Follow the blog, get signed up for our email so we can send you updates and whatnot. All right, until next time, happy trading to all of you. We'll talk to you soon.